<laughs> I'm Jamie Williams. I um, bought Loxtrow Farm, which was then a 13-acre paddock, and um, have developed, developed it since then. I think it's quite powerful, uh, or in theory, it makes you quite powerful to move into a sector from another sector. So I'm bringing commercial and business knowledge into a sector that's archetypally quite historic and uh, people you know, might be stuck in a rut of what they're doing and how they're marketing themselves. Um, so I see the benefit in that um, and decision making. My skills, IT skills and technology skills particularly, which aren't necessarily used so much in agriculture now, uh, I can use the analysis, business analysis models that I was every day using them in the property world as well. Even if you work as part of a team, you're on your own when you run your own business. Um, third party intervention is massively valuable. I went away on a course last week which is designed to um, just analyse your business, analyse yourself, your strengths and weaknesses and then put it into practice within a business context. Uh, I was like a sponge for a week. I've learned massive amounts about um, what I want to do and why I'm doing it. Yeah. Which is, and, and in life, especially when you run your own business, you don't get a chance to think about that. You, do, you don't stop. I mean, I'm working from five till nine every day. When have I got time to sit down and analyse last year or my, was I happy with that or was I happy with this? Um, so the future for me now, I'm pleased to be able to say I can, uh, I know, <laughs> or this is what I want to do, is I want to create the food but I want to develop my direct retail market. Now there is a plethora of people selling direct to the end, end user uh, and it's a very f uh, fickle market. There's people in and out of it the whole time. There's only, there's only two or three who've been, got in it and stayed in it. So I've really researched them and fingers crossed I can become the next one. Um, I, I'm not going to confine myself to my own produce. I, I thought that was a bit of a conflict initially, but the sort of, again, the third party view, you look back on it. Why, why restrict yourself to what you can grow? If you trust another farmer, the same as you trust yourself, use his stuff as well. So there's a guy down in, down in Devon who's going to grow my some of my chickens for me, or well, the majority actually I think, um, because we're going to use our ground which is better suited to sheep, for sheep. And that only comes about by looking out from the outside in. Um, and I'm going to do it every year. I'm going to go away, and my wife potentially isn't that keen on that, but um, I, not for a week necessarily, but for a few days, with a professional, whether that's an accountant, whether that's a, someone I trust, yeah. whether it's a family member, I don't know, and just get away from the family, the business, and look from the outside in because then you'll come back motivated for the next year and you'll have seen your mistakes and how to change them.